Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of their excitement and expectation. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. According to what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's a 4-3-3. Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. So it's down to business here. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Well, a player who's learned fast for me is Luke Shaw, uh, a fullback who likes to involve himself in matters at the offensive end of the pitch, but he covers the ground with speed and, and a good work ethic. So I think he's coming on really well. Well, quite no argument for me on that one. Out towards the flank. And it's hoisted clear. Big chance! In for the follow-up! Marvellous goal! What a start, and what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something, given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. Great reactions in front of goal. He just saw what was on. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. Manchester United have an early lead. Good start. Dallas. Harrison. Has a hit! Oh, that is rather wayward. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Well, that's where he wants it. And it's Rashford. Gets it back. Rashford really just wasn't quick enough then. Well, his thinking certainly wasn't. Didn't make use of what I felt were some very good options. Over to the left. Rashford.
up to meet it just off target good effort very good effort he would have at least wanted to make the keeper work though tries to get it forward quickly Hoists it forward. Diogo Dallo goes direct to the front line. Rashford. That intervention was very necessary. And it's played forward. Bruno Fernandes. Rashford, Shaw is charging up on the overlap, a chance to play it in, nicely controlled, great leap, back of the net, and there's the goal they've been looking for. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Manchester United grab a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Gets on the end of it. And he has been fouled there. Rashford. Rashford goes looking. Bruno Fernandes. He's left his man. Cleared away. That'll be a throw. And it's Shaw. Short and gets up to head it. Oh, just couldn't turn it in. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Dallas. And the half-time whistle goes. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? That gets things going for the second half. Well, this half might require them to produce a plan A, B and C. Leveling the score is easier said than done, but that will be the target. Get back on terms and then use that momentum to go again. Rodrigo has given away a free kick. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card.
Bruno Fernandes. Rashford spreads it towards the left. Massive leap! They are rampant! And they are cruising away! It is a good finish. The odds were against him. Little matter. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a kneel the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of now you've got him, now you don't. Brilliant. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. Oh, he's been unstoppable in this match. Every single time he's been in possession, he's looked a threat. Manchester United take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Dallas. Aimed in towards the centre. Out for a throw. Hits one! Diogo Dallo. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Casemiro battles to win it back. Manchester United look very much like they've got to that time where it's all about closing this one out. Just take the sting out of the opposition. And they've been caught out here. Bruno Fernandes. Shaw, across the field it goes, hoists it high, it's got through and a reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Looking for a decent ball in, and he's got the ball glued to his feet, tries to get it clear, Bruno Fernandes. Plays it out to the wing. Played into the middle. Towering header. Sticks it away. Over the hills and far away. No catching them now. No space, no problem. You just cannot stop him. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked a scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. Four in the game. He is the man. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Well, you have to feel a little for the player been taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. It's become a case of men against boys. Harrison. That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. Well, he can't say now that he hasn't been warned. Well, I think the referee would have told him to rein it in or, or suffer the consequences. Uh, it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Dallas. It's being played forward. Baran attempts a clearance. And that is as far as they're going to go. Bruno Fernandes. That's the throw.
Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Well read, he sorted that out. Just five minutes remaining now. Forward it goes. And it's played forward. Diogo Dallo. Dallas plays it forward. Harrison goes on a charge down the left. It's a loose ball. Timely intervention. Bruno Fernandes. So that's it. It is all over. Well, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story. They were outclassed in every possible way. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Inevitable in terms of the result, but that doesn't tell an accurate tale. This was much closer than it should have been. They really dug deep. Many thanks to Jim, and with that, it is a very good night to you.